Welcome to the 5 Minutes to Sexy podcast, where you will learn how to achieve your sexy potential in 5 short minutes a day. Join Lucy, the sexy mama coach, on the modern day mama's journey to achieve a happy, fulfilling, sexy life. Hi, I'm Lucy, your host of 5 Minutes to Sexy. Well, it's officially spring, and I see some of you, I see you, beginning to scramble in preparation for bikini season. Now, as you probably already know, having an, having amazing energy and looking incredible naked <laughs> begins with what you eat. Still, it can feel totally overwhelming to know what to eat, what not to eat, how much to eat, and so on. But the good news is that Sexy Mama Nutrition is about as simple as it gets. Now, here are the basic steps as outlined in my book, Achieving Sexy, to which I'm going to include the link in the show notes. Okay, so don't forget to check that out. Number one, eat veggies with every meal and make them the star of the show. Not just a little opening act or a background actor with no lines. I'm talking the star, okay? Unless you have a rare kind of um, gastrointestinal condition that, that keeps you from consuming fiber, you just can't go wrong with eating more vegetables, especially greens. The more fresh veggies we eat, the better off our brains and bodies will be. So do it and watch your body begin to change as you fill it up with nature's good stuff. Two, cut the crap. Listen, there is so much stuff in the stores today that is just not food, you guys. We're surrounded with food-like products that don't provide our bodies with the nutrition that they really crave. So where are all the nutrients at? Well, they're in real whole food. So the next time you go shopping, stick mainly to the outer sections of the store, like produce, fresh meat, seafood, eggs, uh, and the food that's typically in the middle aisles, like, you know, candy, cereals, pasta, pizza, ice cream bread. Mm, Yeah, that's not so great for our bodies. Now, not all food from those middle aisles is unclean, but please approach those aisles with caution. Number three, don't nitpick. Now, when we make the decision to eat healthier, we have a slight tendency to nitpick over what we eat and when. Like, are we allowed to drink coffee? Is it potato for post-workout only? Or can we treat ourselves to a piece of cake at our kid's birthday party? I don't know, like these questions plague us in the throes of a new diet. And the truth is, it depends. Truly, if, if you're changing your diet for better health and longevity, your diet is going to look a little different from that of someone who is prepping for a figure competition in six weeks. So if the first situation describes you, don't sweat the meticulous details, but just be honest. You know what foods are good for you. You know what not to keep in the house because it's just too tempting. So do yourself a favor and throw away that Valentine's Day candy already. Number four, drinks count too. I'll make this one brief. Drinks absolutely count. So chug, chug, chug that water on the daily and watch the alcohol intake too. All alcohol affects your fat loss hormones in a not sexy way. And listen, they call it a beer belly for a reason, right? So if you're serious about losing the love handles, cut back on those daily bottles of Chardonnay. Yeah, I see you. And get you some of grandma's herbal tea instead to help you chill. Make healthier alternatives your new norm, and the switch will will really, seriously, it'll be well worth the result in the end. Number five, finally, live a little. So now that you've got the whole no alcohol, no junk, no fun ever thing nailed, relax a little. Leave a little bit of wiggle room in your diet for splurges and special occasions, but be strategic and intentional about this. Make up your mind ahead of time whether you're going to stick to your carrots and hummus or go for that slice of cheesecake at the weekend social. Regardless, there's no need to make yourself feel deprived, ever. Nothing is off limits. You simply make the decision to eat healthier foods for your own benefit. Establish a solid nutrition-focused diet and then eat mindfully, savor each bite, and enjoy in moderation. 
For more on living a sexy mom life in a sexy mom bod, check out my book, Achieving Sexy, on Amazon, Kindle, or Audible, and I'm including the links for all three in the show notes. Well, that's it for today, and thank you for joining me on the journey to sexy. Thanks for listening to 5 Minutes to Sexy. For more on how to be a sexy mama, visit SexyMamaMovement.com. See you there.